guys welcome back to our channel it's girl fanny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed uh find give me something to react to just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Say hi, we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Hit the subscribe and enjoy the content that we put up. So today I'm going to be reacting to freely speaking with Gina Lewis, Shrek Amin to that, to online. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Now that devil, if anybody saw, he will run for dear life. We flee for our life. So Muhammad wasn't talking about that. He was talking about you yourself. We ourselves. You know, our racial pride, our arrogance, our riches. I am white, he's black, and I am rich, he's poor. That devil must not be allowed to come in between you and your brother. So five times a day, the Muslims gather together, stand shoulder to shoulder. Then in a bigger circle, on Fridays, more people gather from different districts. And on occasion of two of our festivals, what we call Eid, one after the fasting season, and another one after two months and ten days after that, another big feast. There when we gather together in an open field, again people, wider group comes along together. Then once a year in Mecca, the whole Muslim community from all over the world, you know, the blonde haired and blue eyed Turk and uh, the, the darkest coal yeah, Ethiopian Muslim and the Chinese Muslim and Muslims from all over the world together in the same pilgrim's garb which creates a type of brotherhood and unity. There is a system not only talking but the system is laid out which no other religious group of people have. They all talk but there's no system of bringing people together. But still if I may say and we're engaged in an academic exercise right, right. but Christianity, Judaism, Islam, right. Hinduism, right. these are systems one way or the other perhaps not as elaborate as Islam right. but they are systems of people coming together to worship what is one God with the exception of uh, Hinduism right. perhaps they have more and yet when you quoted the Bible you said and yet he who comes after me uh, when he the spirit of truth the spirit of truth okay yes. if you translate what Christians call the Holy Spirit right. into the same thing that this is known as, in, in other words, a little bit towards the mystical idea, right. then in the, the, the mystical idea of what he who comes after me, if each one of us can practice our formal parts of the religion, but be inspired by that invisible and nameless, absolutely, there's no way one can, can explain or the experience of having experienced the living presence of the Holy Spirit, does that not go beyond your practice and my practice and the practice of our neighbor? And doesn't that unite us in, a, in an invisible world toward this thing that you call Allah and I call God? You see, it sounds very really nice, beautiful. But mankind, he needs simple, straightforward directives. For example, now, you are a good-hearted person. You in your heart and mind might have no uh, racial prejudice whatsoever. You can cultivate that. But the billions of the world, no matter how much you talk about uh, love thy neighbor as thyself, you see the person is simultaneously being programmed that that neighbor must be one like yourself, belonging to your church. See, the wordings are identical. You say, love thy neighbor as thyself. Beautiful. Who is your neighbor? So the Afrikaner is trained. What actually happens is this. He said, no, as long as that other one is also an Afrikaner and belonging to my church. He's not a Jehovah's Witness. He's not a Seventh-day Adventist. He's not a Roman Catholic. See, so though he utters the words all right, but in his mind he has made up, he said, look, the African is not my neighbor. That's how he was for 300 years. I don't know now what will happen, but this is the programming. So what we need is simple directives. What does this Supreme Being, this Holy Spirit, tell you in clear-cut language about races. How did the races come about? Who is better than the other? Is it white or black? Or brown? The color? The mixture? What? Who is the best? So there is not another system 
which gives an answer like the Islamic system gives you. It says in the Holy Quran, it says, Ya Yohannas, it says, O oh mankind, Inna khalakna kum min zakarim wa unsa. It says, Most certainly it is we who have created you all of a male and a female, common origin. Yes. Wa ja'alna kum shu'uban wa qabaila. And it is we who have made you into nations and tribes. Who God Almighty is talking? What for? He says, Lita'arafu. That you may recognize one another. This Mr. John is an Englishman. That other Mr. John is an Africaner. This Mr. John is a Frenchman. This John is an Indian. These are convenient labels for recognizing people, says this holy book, the Book of Islam. But we have a tendency to create our own false standards of judging. Despite all this, you know, we made from, we come from Father Adam, you know, we are all his children. That is what we all say, like especially the Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims. But in their hearts and minds, the man says, I'm a Jew. We are the chosen people. The rest of the world is goyim, Gentiles, unclean. Right? The Christian also, he says, look, yes, yes, we believe in the Father of God and the brother of man. But for 300 years, you ask the Africana, he doesn't consider the African as his equal, even belonging to his church. The Indian belonging to his church is still not equal. And the Roman Catholic Church, which is claiming to be the most universal, Catholic, most universal. I have been living here in Durban, on the same street as the cathedral, mm -hmm. just around the corner here. And on that street, as a young man, I used to watch the Corpus Christi procession every year. Yes. Corpus Christi, mm -hmm. the body yes. of Christ. And used to come out from the cathedral, walk through Cathedral Road, I lived in, number 40. Cathedral Road, and year in and year out, I watched. They had some, like a canopy like thing, and the priests uh, under the canopy, and they yes. were marching. Yes. I can't remember the more details than that. Then I used to see the whites, men, women, and children, and behind them, the coloreds, men, women, and children, behind them, the Indians, men, women, and children, and behind them, the Africans, men, women, and children. Invariable arrangement, no change. Year in and year out, the white man first, then comes the colored, that's a mixture between black and white, then comes the Indian, then comes the African. And everybody knows his place. How did it happen? You are being programmed. Okay, this is how it ought to be. You see, the Indian is before the African, and the colored is before the Indian, and the white man is before all. Mr. Dida, <clears throat> I agree with what you say. In Islam, all men are brothers and everybody is equal. I'm going to accept that totally at face value. Then I would like to ask you to speak, if you will, to the following two points. Right. Number one, in that case, let's move to Afghanistan and please tell me why all those Muslims are fighting each other in Afghanistan, in Russia, and in uh, Azerbaijan, and in, uh, the, in the part of Iran. Who are they and why are they fighting all of each other if they are brothers and equals? To Afghanistan. <clears throat> all right. The battle there was first between the communists who were ruling and the bulk of the people who were good, simple Muslims. And they were asking for their freedom against the communist rule in their own country. Afghanis by Afghanis. Mm -hmm. right. Then Russia jumps in onto the bandwagon to help the communists to communize the whole country. Yes. And the war took place. And after how many years, 10 years or so, the Russians had to leave. They left the country. Mm -hmm. Left it to their own the DV, uh, divide, whatever More different device, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, it's human nature. It's human nature that now the people who have been helping you, they have certain motives. And they have been exploiting it. For example, now, uh, one group of people, the Mujahideen, means those people who are fighting for the freedom, mm -hmm. they were helped by <coughs> Iran. So they would, in that process, they'll be trying to make them to accept the philosophy of the Iranians. That's one faction of the That's Mujahideen. That's one faction. Yes. Another faction, they said the Saudis are helping them. They'll want to make them to think as they are thinking. Another section is helped by Pakistanis. Voila. The Pakistanis want, you know, says, look, uh, when everything is over, we want you to become one with us. So all these are power politics. The human being is... And five times a day, they're right, all lining right, up right, together right, right, with right, no devil right, in between. Right, right, uh -huh. right, right. <laughs> right. So now, the, the devil, there we were talking about was, mm. number one, getting mm. rid of 
first was your racial and all the other prejudices. But now they still they pray together, but now what happens is this, that in the end, the loot, how are you going to share this? You know, the rule. How are you going to rule this country? So the one is brainwashed to say that the ideal way of running this country is on a communist basis, with the fellows ruling there now. The other guy says, no, 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 no. It must be Islamic the way the Iranians see it. The other guy says, no, no, it should be Islamic, but as the Pakistani sees it. So this is that human, this thing, and the, and the devil in between, that somebody is running around, trying to see that they remain in this situation. Then what are the plain, simple... Um, the settings on this camera look so different today. Um, concerning the political question, uh, there's always that one person that wants to destroy the peace between two people. Even when you're three best friends, there's always that one person that will come to you to spoil something for the other two. I would say that's human nature, but as we grow up, we should <laughs> behave, you know. Um, and that's always the case. One is going to say, let's run things like this. The other is going to say, let's run things like this. Ideology-wise, you're already conflicting. If that turns physical, then it's even worse for the people, you know. Because you're one people, why are you fighting yourselves? Why should you fight your own brother? You know, why should you destabilize the peace of the, the peace and security of the country because um you're not understanding each other um why not come together you know you can say let's take the the president from here the vice president from there but then don't this separation of things is what annoys me in this world why do we have to separate ourselves by tribe by politics by religion by what why do we have to separate ourselves look at our friends you know look at america in as much as they're different races there's not that many uh parties political parties that is the elections are straightforward why should ours be complicated ask yourself that it's up to us to uncomplicate things for us what sometimes what the evil what our own enemy that we have to fight but at the end of the day, let's find a way to live with our brothers and sisters, you know. And the other thing that he was talking about, uh, the mosque, how everyone comes together, prays together. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what color you are. And to give an example of the Christian Catholics of where they have people, the white people, the colors, the Indians, that's when the black people. It's very sad that people actually lived like that, you know. And it's truly... A fact that we've been conditioned imagine someone telling you you're last when it comes to things how are you last and imagine if the black people were put at the first of the line I don't think the white people would have been okay with that this clip is old and the event he's talking about is obviously old you know I don't know that's why I love the fact that now we're able to fight for our rights and uh we're giving we're being given a place somehow but no matter what as long as this racial thing is still propaganda to someone and it will still be there whether we like it or not it will still be there let me know what you guys actually think about what did that had to say the lady actually had some very very good questions if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below just give me the name or the link and i'll be sure to react to eat. I'll see you in my next reaction video.